when we were looking at the differences between high income and low income households, uh, we actually found uh, quite a large number of differences. Now, some of these you might expect, so poverty rates are higher uh, for lower income households um, and housing ownership rates are lower, uh, as you might expect, uh, but they are a, lot, uh, a long way lower and that gap seems to be rising over time. We did find some surprising results as well when we looked across a broader range of domains. Uh, for instance, we found that levels of psychological distress were twice as high amongst lower income households compared to those in the top 20%. Uh, similarly, we, we saw that rates of violent crime were three times the rate for those lower income households too. We also found uh, that people on lower incomes are nine times more likely to be in a carer role, so caring for someone who's aged or has a long-term health condition. Um, and we also saw that people on lower incomes are uh, it takes them a lot longer to save for things uh, such as insurance um, and this is particularly concerning because often these lower income households are more likely to be exposed to natural perils uh, such as flood and fire. So some of these gaps really did surprise us when we go through uh, and it is a reminder um, that poverty is a multi-dimensional uh, concept and that there are sort of quite substantial gains uh, if we are able to address both economic equality and the things that are associated with it.